Aarhus University Danish, Aarhus Universite, abbreviated o, is the largest and second oldest research university in Denmark. The university is ranked among the top 100 world's best universities, belongs to the Coimbra Group, the Guild, and Utrecht Network of European Universities and is a member of the European University Association. The university was founded in Aarhus, Denmark, in 1928 and comprises four faculties in arts, science and technology, health, and business and social sciences and has a total of 27 departments. It is home to over 30 internationally recognized research centers, including 15 centers of excellence funded by the Danish National Research Foundation. The business school within Aarhus University, called Aarhus BSS, holds the EFMD European Foundation for Management Development Equus Accreditation, the Association to Advance Collegiate Schools of Business AACSB, and the Association of MBAs AMBA. This makes the Business School of Aarhus University one of the few in the world to hold the so-called Triple Crown Accreditation. Times Higher Education ranks Aarhus University in the top 10 of the most beautiful universities in Europe 2018. The university's alumni include Bjorn Straustrup, the inventor of programming language C++, Queen Margrethe II of Denmark, Crown Prince Frederick of Denmark, and Anders Fogh Rasmussen, former Prime Minister of Denmark and a Secretary General of NATO. It has affiliations with three Nobel laureates, Jens Christian Sku in Chemistry 1997, Trygve Harvelmo in Economics 1989, and Dale T. Mortensen in Economics 2010. Topic: History. Topic: <laughs> Early developments. Aarhus University was founded on of September 1928 as Universitetsundervisningen i Jutland University Studies in Jutland, with a budget of 33,000 DKR and an enrollment of 64 students, which rose to 78 during the first semester. The university was founded as a response to the increasing number of students at the University of Copenhagen after World War I classrooms were rented from the Technical College and the teaching corps consisted of one professor of philosophy and four associate professors of Danish, English, German and French. Along with Université Samverket, the University Association, which consisted of representatives of Aarhus businesses, organizations and institutions. The municipality of Aarhus had fought since 1921 to have Denmark's next university located in the city. In 1929, the municipality of Aarhus gave the university land with a landscape of rolling hills. The design of the university buildings and 12 hectares campus area was assigned to architects C. F. Moller, K. Fisker, and P. O. V. L. Stegman, who won the architectural competition in 1931. Construction of the first buildings began a year later, but the campus was developed in stages and is still under development as of 2017. Since 1939, C. F. Moller Architects has been responsible for the architectural design of Aarhus University in accordance with the original functionalist design key, perhaps best exemplified by the characteristic yellow brick and tile. The first buildings was finished in 1933 and housed the departments of chemistry, physics and anatomy. These departments later moved to newer buildings at the campus and the original building complex now house Department of Psychology and Department of Political Science. The construction of the first stage was funded solely by donations which totaled 935,000 DKR and the buildings covered an area of 4,190 square meters. One of the most generous contributors to the first stage was De Fornied Tegleverke i Aarhus, the United Tileworks of Aarhus, led by Director K. Nymark. Fornied Tegleverka decided to donate 1 million yellow bricks and tiles worth c. 50,000 DKR and later decided to extend the donation to all bricks needed. The inauguration on of September 1933, marked the first official use of the name Aarhus University and was celebrated in a tent on campus, attended by King Christian X, Queen Alexandrine, their son Crown Prince Frederick and Prime Minister Storning together with 1,000 invited guests. On 23 April 1934, Aarhus University was given permission to hold examinations by the King and on 10 October 1935, Professor Dr. Phil. Ernst Franzen was appointed the first rector of the university. Shortages of materials and a stressed economy, postponed and delayed further development of Aarhus University. In 1941, construction of the main building commenced, a complex to house the university aula assembly hall, and canteen among academic and administrative purposes. 
The stringent minimalist and uncompromising functionalistic design of the first university buildings from 1933 had stirred some local dissatisfaction and it was decided that the main building should possess more traditional romantic and classical architectural inspirations, although in agreement with the original architectural plan, and also make use of more lavish and expensive materials. The main building was finished in 1946 and still stands out from the rest of the university campus as somewhat different in its architectural design, in comparison with the original 4,190 square meters floor space of the first buildings. Aarhus University now holds a floor space of 246,000 square meters in the university park alone. A series of buildings outside the main campus adds an additional floor space of 59,000 square meters. Topic. Faculties From 1928, Aarhus University offered courses in languages and philosophy, but the students were unable to finish their studies without going to the University of Copenhagen for their final examinations. By request of the Ministry of Education, the Teachers' Association made a draft of how to conduct the final examinations in the humanistic subjects in Aarhus and in the draft, the association proposed that the faculty was named the Faculty of Humanities by analogy with the corresponding faculties in Uppsala, London Turku. After negotiations between the faculties in Aarhus and Copenhagen, the King declared on 8 May 1935 that the final university examinations could be held at the Faculty of Philosophy in Copenhagen as well as at the Faculty of Humanities in Aarhus. This was the first final examinations Aarhus University was allowed to hold, but on 24 July 1936 the King granted the Faculty of Humanities the right to hold examinations for the Magister degree and in 1940 for the PhD. Aarhus University had offered courses in basic medical subjects from 1933 and on 10 October 1935 the Faculty of Medicine was formally established. The establishment of a Faculty of Medicine in Aarhus was met with some opposition from the Faculty of Medicine at the University of Copenhagen. The professors thought that the state should not establish a new faculty until the shortcomings of the old one had been solved. In the end, the professors agreed to sign a recommendation for the new faculty as long as improvements to the old one were not delayed. By 1953, the Faculty of Medicine had been fully built, complete with lectures, professorship chairs, final exams, research facilities and the hospitals of Aarhus had been expanded to meet the demands of clinical training. In 1992, the Faculty of Medicine merged with the Dental School and changed its name to Faculty of Health Sciences. The university established its Faculty of Economics and Law in 1936, but when it offered courses in political science and in psychology 1959 and 1968, respectively, the faculty changed its name to the Faculty of Social Sciences. The faculty had to be funded solely on private donations and once the university demonstrated it had the needed financial means, the Minister of Education recommended the Finance Committee to approve the establishment of the faculty on 27 January 1936 since the state did not have to grant financial support. The committee approved and by declaration of the King on 5 November 1937, the faculty could hold examinations in economics and law. Courses had been offered in theology since 1932 at the Faculty of Humanities, but in 1942 the Faculty of Theology was formally established. Already on the 22nd of June 1928, Reverend Balslev of Aarhus had proposed that Universitätsundervisning and I Aarhus not yet university taught basic courses in theology. Though the proposal was greeted by the management, the Faculty of Theology in Copenhagen pointed out that it would take three full-time teachers of the New Testament, Old Testament and Ecclesiastical History, respectively as well as education in Latin, Greek and Hebrew by the Faculty of Humanities. At this time, Universitätsundervisning and I Aarhus did not have the financial means to meet these criteria so the case was shelved for the time being. In April 1931, the case reopened, this time by Bishop Skat Hofmeyer who proposed free teaching in the required subjects. The management asked the faculty in Copenhagen if this was acceptable, but because the teaching was free, the faculty saw it as tutoring rather than actual teaching and they neither approved or disproved of such an approach though they did not see it as actual university teaching. The municipality of Aarhus did not aid with funds and the management deemed a request of the state to be futile so they decided to disregard getting the teaching approved and started anyway under the supervision of Skat Hofmeyer. On 5 September 1932 Reverend Asmund held the first lecture in theology. This private education in theology continued until the university could hire its own professors in 1938, and in 1942 Aarhus University could at long last establish the Faculty of Theology. The main building and World War II 
In 1938, the university management acknowledged it was time to consider an expansion due to lack of space and overcrowding of the auditoriums. The solution was the main building containing both rooms and facilities for new academic areas, as well as housing for the general administration, an assembly hall and a canteen. The building was to be organized according to a principle of institutes so that teaching and research took place in certain rooms with their own library and study for the professor. The construction of the building took place during the German occupation of Denmark 1940 in World War II, which affected the process in more than one way. No state funds had been involved in the construction of the first university building and a second building for physiology, biochemistry, and a high-voltage laboratory, but because the Nazis were against civil use of materials and workforces, the state contributed to the main building. In 1943, the Gestapo, Sicherheitsdienst, Geheimer Feldpolizei and Abwehr set up their regional headquarters in the five student halls of residence on campus. Fearing that the same would happen to the new main building, its completion was delayed. C. F. Moller later wrote that for once there was plenty of time to work on the details of the building, like patterned brickwork, acoustic screens and furniture. Furniture designer A. A. G. E. Windeleff, designed the furniture specially for the main building, while Borge Mogensen's industrially produced furniture designs are the most commonly used elsewhere on campus. The presence of the Gestapo in Aarhus led to multiple arrests of Danish resistance fighters and the resistance movement soon realized they needed outside assistance. On 15 October, the leader of the illegal Danish underground army in Jutland, Niels Benneker, sent the following telegram to London Undergrunden i Jylland vid at bliv revet op af Gestapo. Vigtiger at far odelict archiver og bever vor folk end at bever archiver og far odelict vor folk. Jeg beder intringend om, at collegium 4 og 5, gentager 4 og 5, ma bliv odelict vid luftungreb. Det er der til vestligste, gentager vestligste, bygninger i universitetskompulset. Hasta, gentager hasta. Underground in Jutland getting torn up by the Gestapo. More important to get the archives destroyed and save our people than getting our people destroyed and save the archives. I implore that residence hall 4 and 5, repeat 4 and 5, be destroyed by airstrike. They are the two farthest to the west, repeat farthest to the west, buildings of the university complex. Urgent, repeat urgent. On 31 October 1944, the Royal Air Force bombed the Gestapo's headquarters in residence halls 4 and 5, also killing 10 civilian workers. Two Group Bomber Command carried out the bombing by using 25 mosquito planes. The air strike on the University of Aarhus took place in a heavily populated area and the campus was surrounded by three hospitals. To avoid civilian casualties, the RAF prepared with a model of the campus, shooting at residence halls 4 and 5 with chalk bags. The architect C. F. Moller was in the main building during the air strike but survived and was later dug free from the rubble. The reconstructed main building opened on of September 1946. <laughs> Since 1970 Aarhus University was an independent institution until 1970, but with management representatives from the City Council and the organization of Universités Samverket. Hereafter, the university became a state-run institution under the first University Act. With the next University Act in 1992, external organizations were once again represented in the administration and under the 2003 Act, all Danish universities are governed by a nationwide university board. This board appoints the rector, deans and heads of departments instead of the students. It commenced in January 2004 for the first time and in August 2005, it appointed a new rector. In 1994, the university was a scene of a shooting, three people including the perpetrator were killed and two more were injured. Aarhus University has hosted significant musical events. The Grateful Dead played there on April 16, 1972. The recorded performance was part of the group's Europe 72 tour. In the current century, several higher education institutions have been merged with Aarhus University. Following the Danish University reform of 2006, it merged with the HIH in Herning and the DPU in Copenhagen, making the university nationwide and adding 6,000 students. In 2012, Aarhus University's School of Engineering was merged with the university proper, making it Denmark's largest. Campus Aarhus University's main campus is located in central Aarhus, encircling the University Park Universitasparken. 
The campus master plan competition was won in 1931 by the collaborative scheme of Danish architects K. Fisker, C. F. Moller and P. O. V. L. Stegman in collaboration with landscape architect Carl Theodor Sorensen. The design includes a wide variety of buildings in a large area, but each building is constructed of the same yellow brick and roofing tile and with a common design key, providing the whole campus with a unified appearance. Construction commenced in 1932 and has continued into present times. Lately in 1999 to 2001, Sauditorian and 2014 to 17, O Health. The original main building was one of the first Danish functionalist public buildings and has been included in the Ministry of Culture's Canon of Danish Architecture. It is acknowledged as one of the 12 most significant architectural works in the cultural history of Denmark. In a harmonic interplay with the park, the Yellow Buildings form a campus that has received international recognition for its aesthetic values and it has been protected by law since 1993, in order to conserve its unique design. C. F. Moller and his company, C. F. Moller Architects have continued as architects of the campus ever since, except the new Department of O Health currently under construction, designed by Cubo. The park and campus has been expanded throughout the years. In 1957, the old park of Venelist Parken, just south of the University Park, was included. Apart from the main campus, Aarhus University has several smaller campuses and departments throughout Aarhus. This includes the campus of Aarhus BSS, School of Business and Social Sciences in Aarhus V, the new adjacent campus of Nobelparken, built in 1997-2004 in red brick, also by C. F. Moller Architects, but in a different design, a campus at Trojborg for Nordic Linguistics and Related Studies, and parts of the research park of IT Bayern at Katrinebjerg, where the Computer Science Institute also teach and do research. Archaeology and Anthropology takes residence in Mosgard Manor, an old manor house at the new Mosgard Museum. In the city of Herning, there is also a small campus where a few of the university's business, engineering and technology programs are taught, called the Department of Business Development and Technology. Organization and administration The university is governed by the university board which has 11 members, six members recruited outside the university form the majority of the board, two members are appointed by the academic staff, one member is appointed by the technical, administrative staff, and two members are appointed by the university students. The rector is appointed by the university board. The rector in turn appoints deans and deans appoint heads of departments. There is no faculty senate and faculty is not involved in the appointment of rector, deans, or department heads. Hence the university has no faculty governance. Topic: Main academic areas. Since the 1st of January 2011, the university has been organized into four major main academic areas. Science and Technology consists of the former Faculty of Science, the former Faculty of Agricultural Sciences and the Danish Center for Environment and Energy DCE. Arts – consists of the former Faculty of Humanities and the former Faculty of Theology. Aarhus BSS – consists of the former Faculty of Social Sciences and the Aarhus School of Business. Health – consists of the former Faculty of Health Sciences. Academics <laughs> 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 As of 1 October 2014, more than 42,000 students were enrolled in Aarhus University. Each year more than 1,000 international exchange students come to Aarhus University to study for one or two terms. In 2009 close to 3,000 international students were enrolled in full degree programs. Aarhus University is an international university with a large proportion of students at the post-baccalaureate level, over half of its students are enrolled in master's degree and PhD programs. In 2011, 59 of the university's 113 master's degree programs were taught in English. Talent development of young researchers has been identified as one of the university's core activities. This means that highly qualified students have the option of starting their PhD studies before completing their master's degree. The university's doctoral programs allow talented students to enroll in a combined master's, PhD program either right after completing the bachelor's degree the 3 plus 5 track or one year into their master's degree program the 4 plus 4 track. Since 2006 the number of PhD students has risen from approximately 1,000 to approximately 1,700 in 2010. International Center 
The International Center maintains international partnerships and combines a wide range of services for exchange students, international full degree students, PhDs and visiting scholars. The International Center is often the first stop for foreign students at Aarhus University, since the center offers advice on finding housing and living in Denmark. O Summer University Starting in 2011 all summer courses and summer schools offered by Aarhus University for bachelors, masters and PhD students will be gathered together and expanded to provide more diversity in a new framework, O Summer University. In the summer of 2011 more than 80 courses were offered within the fields of humanities, theology, social sciences, health sciences, natural sciences, agricultural sciences, business and educational sciences. Summer courses are open to both Danish and international students. Topic. Degree programs Aarhus University has seen some deep administrational changes since the turn of the century and now also includes several large sub-departments such as Aarhus BSS, O Engineering and others. Each of these sub-departments offers undergraduate and or graduate programs specific to their own field of study. The core academic degree programs of Aarhus University includes the following fields the university offers eight undergraduate and about 60 graduate programs in English language. <laughs> Sheminova controversy and academic freedom at O Since 1944, Aarhus University owned Sheminova, a chemical manufacturer who among other controversies has been selling methyl pyrethian pesticide to Brazil farmers. In 2009, senior researcher Meta Jensen emailed her colleagues at O, asking whether they thought Sheminova should stop selling the controversial pesticides. For this, the university threatened her with dismissal. The university's pro-vice-chancellor Soren E. Franson denied that the university had made any mistakes or threatened the freedom of speech and academic freedom of its staff. On 30 April 2015, Kemenva was sold to the FMC Corporation for 8.5 billion Danish kroner, a controversial issue in itself. Topic. Major research centers Aarhus University is home to 15 centers of excellence supported by the Danish National Research Foundation and a considerable number of major research centers. The 15 centers of excellence are Center for Membrane Pumps in Cells and Disease Pumpkin, Center for Insoluble Protein Structures INSPIN, Center for Geomicrobiology Center for Materials Crystallography CMC Center for DNA Nanotechnology Center for Functionally Integrative Neuroscience CFIN D Center on Autobiographical Memory Research Conamore Center for Massive Data Algorithmics MADALGO The Water and Salt Research Center Center for Carbonate Recognition and Signaling CARB Center for Research in Econometric Analysis of Time Series creates, which is one of the best econometrics center according to economics field rankings, econometrics, ideas, REPEC. Currently this center is positioned as second best center of research in econometric time series analysis. Furthermore, this center is considered as one of the best places to study a PhD in econometrics. Center for Oxygen Microscopy and Imaging COMI. Center for MRNP Biogenesis and Metabolism Center for Quantum Geometry of Moduli Spaces QGM. Center for the Theory of Interactive Computation Center for Theoretical Chemistry QLEAP. Some of the university's other major research centers include MindLab and Inano. Topic: <laughs> MindLab MindLab was established with a 120 million Danish krona grant awarded by the Danish Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation. At MindLab neuroscientists, psychologists, biologists, statisticians and researchers from other fields work together to understand the brain, its disorders, and its development through physical and social interactions, and vice versa. Inano. 
The Interdisciplinary Nanoscience Center founded in 2002 by Professor Fleming Bessenbacher offers a degree program in nanoscience with an interdisciplinary curriculum covering a broad spectrum of introductory, advanced and specialized courses, aimed at providing the student with a sufficiently broad basis to conduct interdisciplinary research within nanoscience and at the same time achieve disciplinary depth and specialized skills in selected areas. Hence, the program encompasses physics, chemistry, biology, molecular biology, mathematics and computer science. Student life Students from different fields meet in the numerous Friday bars, in the student house Aarhus and at concerts in the university park and around the rest of the city. The Friday bars are often organized by the different departments who set up a small bar in a canteen or classroom where beers and non-alcoholic drinks are served. The university also has a number of libraries, some of which are open around the clock. Almost every department has its own library, but the main library is the state and university library. It has an extensive electronic journal database which students and staff can access either at the library or from home. Aarhus University Sports AUS is open to all university students and organizes a wide range of activities from badminton to fencing and chess. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Student organizations. The largest student organizations at Aarhus University are the Student Union and Studentelage. The Student Union represents the main student body at Aarhus University while Studentelage is a mainly social organization at School of Business and Social Sciences. The Student Union has both student seats on the university board. The Student Union also arranges annual concerts and seminars, and publishes the student magazine Delphinen the Dolphin. There are political students' organizations at the university, the largest of which include the Social Democratic Students Frit Forum, Conservative Students Conservative Studenta, and Liberal Students Liberali Studerend. The Conservative Students' Union publishes the student magazine Critique. The Liberal Students' Union publishes the leaflet Minerva. <laughs> Clubs and societies Aarhus University offers many activities and services for foreign and Danish students. Several Friday bars, clubs organized and crewed by students at the university offer cheap beer and drinks, which has a wide appeal to the student body. The Student's House Student Turns House, the Students House was built in 1964 at the central campus to accommodate students' organizations, activities, festivities and gatherings. Among many other things, the buildings are headquarters to the students' organization Studentahus Aarhus, and Aarhus University offers a free membership to all exchange students. The Students' House is a meeting place for international and Danish students in Aarhus and Studentahus Aarhus organize social and cultural activities throughout the year, ranging from parties and road trips, to language classes and weekly international nights a popular dinner club. <laughs> Aarhus University Sports AUS. AUS is the official sports club of Aarhus University, and is open to all university students. It is an umbrella organization consisting of 14 independent member clubs, which host a wide range of activities, from badminton to fencing to chess. In addition, AUS also offers independent activities such as indoor soccer tournaments, gym facilities and skiing trips. <laughs> Dale's Café. Dale's Café is a meeting place for international students and the university's PhD students that opened in 2011. The café offers coffee, sandwiches and a wide selection of beers. It has an informal lounge area where students and young researchers can relax while enjoying snacks and beverages. Like the main building, Dale's Café is named after Aarhus University's 2010 Nobel laureate in economic sciences, Dale T. Mortensen. The Dale T. Mortensen Building houses the International Center, the Ph.D. House and the IC Dormitory, which contains 28 dorm rooms and two apartments dedicated to recently arrived international Ph.D. students. Clubben 
Clubben in English the club is a bar located at the former ASB Aarhus School of Business, now under the Faculty of School of Business and Social Sciences. The bar is open during regular school hours and weekdays, but hosts larger parties during Fridays and in relation to major sports events. Admittance is usually restricted to students of the School of Business and Social Sciences. Topic: Studentelege. Studentelege, School of Business and Social Sciences at the former ASB is currently the largest student organization in Denmark, Studentelege. The organization has approximately 4000 members whom they service through nine smaller business units. Studentelege has around 130 employees, most of them students. Topic: <laughs> University Museums. Aarhus University operates a number of museums, both in and outside the university campus. Mosgaard Museum (MOMU). Steno Museum Ole Roma Observatory Aarhus Botanical Gardens and Greenhouses Natural History Museum Museum of Ancient Art Notable alumni, faculty and students Former and current faculty Topic: Students. Queen Margrethe II, Queen Regnant of Denmark since 1972. Topic: International recognition. Aarhus University is highly ranked by international organizations and maintains its own page listing its current rankings. It's ranked 65th by the Shanghai Ranking 2018, 89th by National Taiwan University Ranking 2018, 95th by the US News and World Report 2018, 109th by Times Higher Education World University Rankings 2018, and 141th by QS World University Rankings 2018. Topic: Residence Halls. Residence halls for students in Aarhus, includes the following Only the Park Collegian residence halls are located on campus, other residence halls are located elsewhere, all across the city. It is also the only residence hall exclusively for students at Aarhus University. A large part of the residence halls and youth accommodation in Aarhus is administered by the non-profit housing cooperative of College Contorate. The public web platform of ungdomsbolliger.dk provides access to student and youth accommodation all across Denmark. Topic. Partner universities and membership Member of the Coimbra Group Member of the Utrecht Network Topic. See also Annual regatta at Aarhus University List of modern universities in Europe 1801 Open access in Denmark